Today we're going to talk about how to make this type of animation. I don't really know what to call it. But anyway, you get the idea. Kind of like, you know, Superman. And for that, we're going to use a new app in Canva, which is part of the 2024 rollout, which is called Type Extrude. Okay, so let's start with start with an Instagram reel. This is Canva Tips for Authors. I'm Jeev. I'm a romance author and women's fiction author. And this channel is here to help authors use Canva better in their book marketing to show off their books. If you are an author and would like to talk to other authors and swap tips about how to use Canva, come and join the Facebook group. It's free. And the link is in the description or just search Canva Tips for Authors in Facebook. Okay, so for this one, we are going to start with the app. So we're going to go to apps down here on the left ribbon. And then we're going to look for type extrude. Type extrude. There we go. And we'll click that. You get this interface. Um, we'll just use the, the word they've already chosen, which is today. But you can change your font. If you go to font, you can change that. You can change where you're aligning your words. It's quite a number of fonts, so you could just take a little bit of time to play with that. Um, yeah, you can check change your alignment of your words. You can change the line height, which is, I think, it's the thing, it's the space between the two the lines if you have more than one line. Border width is basically this border here, this thin line. You can have it quite thick or not. Angle, angle is the angle of the shadow. So that's what it looks like. If we change the angle to be plus 57, it moves to a completely different side. Um, and the length is the length of the shadow. So, ta -da! okay, All right, let's go back to where we were. Okay, so we'll start with the word today, which is their example word, and we will turn that to red. And let's make the shadow bright yellow. And let's make it longer. That's cool. Okay. Add to design. Let's finish designing this first. Let's make it blue. So right, so this is this is where we want to end up with this saying today, and duplicate this. Delete that page. Okay, and we want it to come from somewhere down here. Now we need to leave it at the edge. But let's just do that. And this can be one second long. This can be like, oh, four seconds long. And then I wonder, can we edit this? We can. So, right, let's duplicate this again. And let's take the length right down. Oh, we need it to be in the same place. Right. I'm just going to duplicate this and put it on top so that I don't get it mixed up. Okay, so this needs to go right on top of that and the same size. Okay, not quite. There. And Let's get rid of the long one. Let's see if that works. Right. So this is 
one second. We decided this was five seconds, or maybe four, just because I'm very impatient. And this can be four as well. Why is this still coming up as five seconds? What are we doing? Are we being really janky again? All right. And let's delete that. Add transitions. So we add transitions, match and move, apply between all pages. Okay, so this one. Now maybe we can reduce the length of this. No, it just won't let me reduce the length of it. Okay, then that's fine. Let's do it this way. One and a half seconds. Okay, let's have a look. Sort of works. Let's take this down to three seconds. And this down to three seconds, because we need it to happen a little bit quicker. That's quite cool. Quite a cool effect. So you could play around with the timing. And um, if you have something that you want to, you want to um, talk about, like sale today, something like that, you could do this. Um, so yeah, I really like this effect. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please tell all your friends and I'll see you in the next video.